ESPedia. General Studies Video Lectures, Notes and Practice Question Sets for IS, IS, Years and Other Exams. In this video we have discussed a subtopic of energy and environment which is Environment Impact Assessment 5. Steps in IA Process it represents a systematic process that examines the environmental consequences of the development actions, in advance. The emphasis of IA is on prevention and, therefore, is more proactive than reactive in nature. The IA process involves a number of steps, some of which are listed below. Project screening this entails the application of year to those projects that may have significant environmental impacts. It is quite likely, however, that screening is done partly by the year regulations operating in a country at the time of assessment. Scoping this step seeks to identify, at an early stage, the key significant environmental issues from among a host of possible impacts of a project and all the available alternatives. Consideration of alternatives this seeks to ensure that the proponent has considered other feasible approaches, including alternative project locations, scales, processes, layouts, operating condition and the no action option. Description of the project slash development action this step seeks to clarify the purpose and rationale of the project and understand its various characteristics, including the stages of development, location and processes. Description of the environmental baseline this includes the establishment of both the present and future state of the environment in the absence of the project taking into account the changes resulting from natural events and from other human activities. Identification of key impacts this brings together the previous steps with a view to ensuring that all potentially significant environmental impacts adverse and beneficial are identified and taken into account in the process. The prediction of impacts this step aims to identify the likely magnitude of the change that is, impact in the environment when the project is implemented in comparison with the situation when the project is not carried out. Evaluation and assessment of significance this seeks to assess the relative significance of the predicted impacts to allow a focus on key adverse impacts. Formal definition of significance is the product of consequence and likelihood as significance equals consequence x likelihood. Mitigation this involves the introduction of measures to avoid, reduce, remedy or compensate for any significant adverse impacts. Public consultation and participation this aims to assure the quality, comprehensiveness and effectiveness of the year, as well as to ensure that the public's Views are adequately taken into consideration in the decision-making process. A's presentation This is a vital step in the process. If done badly, much good work in the year may be negated. Review This involves a systematic appraisal of the quality of the A's as a contribution to the decision-making process. Decision-making at this stage Decisions are made by the relevant authority of the A's, including consultation responses together with other material considerations as to whether to accept, defer or reject the project. Post-decision monitoring this involves the recording of outcomes associated with development impacts after the decision to proceed with the project. 
it can contribute to effective project management. Auditing this follows monitoring and involves comparing actual outcomes with predicted outcomes and can be used to assess the quality of predictions and the effectiveness of mitigation. It provides a vital step in the e-learning process. Figure below illustrates the steps involved in the e-process. Note that the actual year process is not so linear and sequential as figure 2 seems to suggest. In other words, it is a cyclical process involving feedback and interaction among the various steps and the sequence of the steps may also vary. 6. Hierarchy in year. The year studies are broadly categorized as A-side selection studies. These studies involve an evaluation of the alternative sites with respect to environmental and project attributes such as proximity to raw materials, infrastructure facilities, markets, etc. These studies aim at ranking site alternatives for objective decision making. B. Rapid or Comprehensive Studies Rapid studies refer to the assessment based on a one-season monitoring that is, three-month period, whereas comprehensive studies relate to the assessment based on a three-seasons monitoring that is, nine-month period of baseline data. Rapid ear facilitates decision making in situations where a fair amount of knowledge exists about the proposed site or the impacts of the proposed development. It also helps in identifying significant issues for comprehensive ear. Essentially, rapid and comprehensive studies differ with respect to timber frames required for baseline data collection. See regional studies. These relate to the development in slash of a region based on seasonal data collection and address themselves to the analysis of assimilative capacity of air, water and land components of the environment. D. Carrying capacity studies. The scope of a carrying capacity study is extended to the Analysis of supportive capacity in the region with respect to resource availability slash utilization, supply slash demand, infrastructure slash congestion and assimilative capacity slash residuals. In the last two decades, national governments and also financial institutions have Realize that year has to be an integral part of the project life cycle from project conceptualization to post-implementation corrective action. Figure illustrates this cycle. A year exercise culminates in an environmental impact statement is, which we will study, next.